Hi, welcome back to quick tips and tutorials I have for you today. Distressing paper for junk journals or other paper crafting things. This was a video done by special request. Someone wanted me to do a tutorial about how I did distress inks on my journal pages. And let me show you an example. I did a complete flip through of this journal. So I'm not gonna do that here. I'm just gonna show you what the tutorial is pretty much doing pages like this. As the person said, the dreaded white papers. So I actually don't mind white paper sometimes in my journal and sometimes I'm lazy and just use some white papers. But anyway, I have three ways to take white copy paper and turn it into something else. The tutorial is only going to be on one of them. I'm just going to show you these other two. This I did last night. At, see, there's a lot of really nice yellowing. This paper looks really, really old, and I did some distress stamping on it. But this is just that white copy paper, and I soaked it in coffee. And then I added a tiny bit of this Wild Honey Distress Spray Stain. After I placed this in the pan with the coffee, I just took this and lightly misted it and then I picked the paper up and as you can see it kind of ran down and it would run into the coffee so the next papers would get even more and more um, yellow so this is for a project that I will be filming later on this is a traveler's notebook junk journal insert I'm making for myself for my own traveler's notebook and these are just a few of the pages that I'm working on for that and then I did these afterwards, so there was a little bit of the wild honey distress spray stain left in the coffee. This is for my parish journal I'm also working on um, making for someone. And so the, the coffee was already a little yellowed, but I'm doing, it's kind of like a little bit of a pink theme. And so I tried a little bit of abandoned coral. So when this was soaking in the coffee, I spritzed a tiny bit of that on and it did all sorts of cool things so you can see the tiny little bits of pink you'll also see before I coffee dyed these I took some gold ink and I stamped different images this is like a ticket it says destination and then there's some globes in the background here so that's not really a tutorial just how I did that but let's get into the tutorial okay so I'm going to show you how to use the Distress Ink um, to change this into distressed paper that coordinates with your journal. And I do have a craft mat, but I'm going to show you how to do it with like a gallon freezer bag so that you can do it even if you don't have a craft mat. So pretty much plastic. But if you take a gallon freezer bag, put it down, choose your colors. And I'm going to be working with iced spruce, worn lipstick, and hickory smoke today. Now be careful not to mix them because you're going to get really, you know, muddy, ugly, unless you're going for that. I don't know. Maybe it could look cool. Just experiment. But pretty much what I do, I take my blank piece of paper and then I kind of decide what my main color for this page is going to be. So I'm going to do worn lipstick. So pretty much just smush it on there and spritz it pretty good don't worry about your paper getting wet because it's kind of think about it it's like the coffee dyeing effect so it's going to be wet it's not going to be as soaking wet but i just set it aside i didn't even you could put it in the oven to speed it up but it really didn't take long so well i guess i need this not a little bit more of a wide spray there we go and you can see it's already doing cool things all right so then I just take my paper, every page will be different. Just sop up all of that ink and then look at what I got, okay? So then I want to go in maybe with some other colors, let's see. We'll do a little bit of iced spruce and then my, um, okay, I don't always talk and work very well. <laughs> Okay, and so then what you can do if you want to target a specific area, you can just, and I chose some really bright and bold colors for this paper because I really want it to stand out, but you could definitely do it more subdued if you use the distress colors like 
tea dye or vintage photo or you know one of the ones wilted violet some of them that are very very subdued but I was going for a bright and happy Paris look so that's what I'm doing here and as you can see this bag works pretty well I think I like my craft mat a little bit better but what I do like about this is it's really easy to pick up and do this with okay oh and look that's kind of cool. I didn't realize it took the word here and put it on their boulder. So I may put something over that in my journal. But I don't know. It's kind of cool. And I think maybe we could play around with that in the future, maybe with other words or something. I'm not sure. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with... A, oh, I used hickory smoke too, didn't I? All right, I spruce and hickory smoke are sort of similar as far as how dark they are, one is just a little bit more bluish greenish and the other's more gray. So I'm going to leave it at that. And then usually what I do is I flip it over to the other side and some of the colors would have come through, but I kind of look and say what is missing and what do I want. And I definitely want some more iced spruce on the back here. Another fun thing, if you have um, children or grandchildren or school children or whatever that like to help you craft, I let my two-year-old help me with this for my other journal. He had a blast and I just kind of, you know, let it come out however he wanted it to come out. I kind of guided him, but it was a lot of fun. Okay, so now I'm going to set that aside, just set it over there and grab the next piece. So let's just do one more together. Instead of pink being the main focus, on that one we're going to do hickory smoke. You know, if I do that, it's going to pick up those letters. So I'm going to come over here. Okay, that's cool. And I'm going to go in with ice spruce. I'm not going to put any pink on this one. It's just going to be ice spruce and hickory smoke. all those edges yep it's picking up the boulder so maybe if you're doing a freezer bag don't have letters on it unless you want the letters to come through but like I said it is kind of cool a little more ice spruce when I do this I'm everywhere and moving super fast and crazy so sorry about that okay so that's that side and then here I'm going to add more iced spruce because hickory smoke, I like that it adds that little bit of a gray, but it is a little blah and I'm really wanting to pick up on these colors. All right. I just want a little more right there. So here we go. I'm going to set that aside and I just stack them like this. They're just barely, they're damp. They're not soaking wet. I just stack them and I come back a couple hours later and they're totally ready. You could stick them in the oven at 200 or use a hairdryer um, to speed that process up. Okay, before I finish this video, I'm gonna show you one more tip using an acrylic block. This is my Stamp Abilities acrylic block and I love this shape, this rectangle shape for doing this because I can really get in there on the paper. So we'll make iced spruce our main color here. So I'm just going to start with, this is my main color again, but once I get enough of it on here, I can see the areas I need to go in to add color, but if I want to be a lot more specific and see exactly where I'm putting the color, I'm going to use this acrylic block, okay? Okay, I realized that my camera stopped videoing, so you didn't see how I finished this one. So I am going to do one more page so you can see how I used that acrylic block because I just started and then my camera stopped and I didn't even realize it. So let's start with hickory smoke. Again, I did my main background in a color here. Okay. 
and then if I wanted to go back in so that's what I was doing um, was going back in with my acrylic block and then you can choose exactly where you want it to be and it will okay I love that that's so cool and I could put it exactly where I wanted it to the other thing you can do is put the distress ink right on the acrylic block spray it right on the acrylic block and go in that way all right so this is going to be a few of the pages for the paris junk journal and um i will do a flip through of that when i am done